This is a video tour of 1408 Lawrence Avenue. Just a quick view of the neighborhood. So you have a driveway that comes down and it is a bit of like a circle driveway here. So you have a split with this landscaping and the driveway loops around. Um, I do want to point out that the driveway definitely angles towards the house. And so you would have some water flow coming down this driveway. Uh, big mature trees all around. Uh, so this house would definitely be a good candidate for a sewer cam. Um, it backs up to the golf course and it does seem to be at least partially fenced. So we'll see as we go back there. Wood shake roof on the front of this property here. And it looks okay. I mean, there's definitely some areas where the shingles are slightly lighter and things like that as they've worn. So walking up to the front of the house, there is a little bit of wood rot at the bottom of this post here and you have a brick entryway and overhang as you're walking in. So walking in, you come onto Pergo floor here and a wallpapered little entry. Behind the front door here is a pretty good size coat closet. And I do want you to see, so you come into this entryway and you have like a second door, decorative door that you come through here. Okay, so walking inside the house, directly in front of me is the living room. To my left is stairs to go upstairs and the hallway that leads to the kitchen. And to my right goes into a bedroom. So we're gonna start by going to the right side. So before I hit the bedroom, again on my right is a small half bath here for guests. So same wallpaper as that entryway and just a small little half bath. So then walking back towards this first bedroom and just for reference I'm walking south and this is the bedroom. This is your master bedroom. So popcorn ceiling here Carpet's definitely been clean and it feels pretty cushy. Um, I mean, not new for sure, because you can see a couple stains and things, but still in decent condition overall. You've got some settling cracks inside this property in a couple different places. So off of the corner of this window, at the top of the window, again, just kind of off this corner area. And then you have another one coming off of the base of this window. So this south window looks at south neighbor and this window looks into the backyard space, which is hard to see because you've got the bushes in the way. Um, okay, so closet and master bathroom. So here is the master closet, which I would say is, you know, a bit of a walk-in. So you're walking, you've got built-ins here and then the master bath, you've got ceramic tile flooring and counter here. So just one sink here in the master. Again, you've got a crack above, settling crack above this window. And it looks like they've got heat lamps in here in the ceiling. And then tiled, jetted master tub. Okay. And this window looks out into the driveway. Okay. So back inside and we're going to go back down the hallway. This time we're going to turn and go towards the living room. So decorative glass openings on each side of the living room, which correspond with the decorative glass coming into the property. And this is the view of the living room. So pretty good size living room. It is very rectangular and you do have a fireplace here with some built-in shelves on either side and so um this looks like it is a gas log insert fireplace which is good um big windows here looking out again into the backyard you've got a couple broken thermal pane seals you can see that they look a little um blurry 
but overall seems to be in good shape. So um, walking to the back, I guess we'll say the upper part of this living room. And so now I'm headed north in the house and you can see into kitchen and dining room. Um, so for mica countertops here in the kitchen, older uh, refrigerator for sure, um, stove, microwave, dishwasher look a little bit newer and all match. Um, tiled backsplash. Pretty deep sink here for doing dishes. And just another view here of the dining room. So again, you'll notice there's wallpaper around the base of this room. So uh, it seems to have, house has really good space, but definitely could use some updating. And stepping into here, you have a three seasons room, which has a ceramic tile floor. You can see the heater there at the base. And we're gonna go ahead and go outside since we're back here. So again, just a broken thermal pane seal on the store. And this brings you out into the backyard. So you back up to the golf course. And it's a decent sized backyard. Um, it does have a little like picket fence around it that looks to be strung with chicken wire. Um, you do have also this retaining wall that is running in the middle of this backyard space. And so it does kind of divide the space a bit with the retaining wall. Okay. And here's a view of the back of the house and you can see there's some growth on the roof here, which is not uncommon. I mean, you're under a tree. It really just needs to be cleaned off. Um, but the back of the house, the siding all looks quite good. The chimney from here looks pretty good too. So it seems to be, you know, well maintained. So walking back up here, I want you to get a good view of the patio because it's a poured cement patio, but they did some fun things with it to make it look nice. Okay, so walking back into the house now. And we're gonna head back through the kitchen. This door right here leads into the basement. So we'll do that here in just a second. Uh, but walking through the kitchen, you come into a mud room slash, oh, sorry, I'm super zoomed in there. Okay, a mud room slash laundry room and it looks like you've got a laundry chute there in the ceiling um there does appear to be some damage here um under the window i'm not sure if that's from water or what it is exactly okay so storage closet here in this room and then directly across from this room it's kind of just like a bonus space. I mean, built-in desk here. Looks like a little built-in seat. And closet here, again, for storage. Okay. So then through the laundry room, we're going to go into the garage space. And it is an oversized two-car garage. But it's kind of hard to tell that right now just because there's quite a bit of stuff. And then, you know, door directly to the backyard, which we were just in. But pretty standard looking garage. You do have a mail slot at the front of this house. Um, and so you can see they've got a little bin here for mail collection. Okay. So back inside the house. And now we are going to run downstairs. The basement in this house is unfinished. And you can see going down some carpeted stairs here, but exposed concrete on the walls, which is good because that really gives us a better idea about the foundation. So furnace and water heater here emptying into a floor drain, which is very normal. This is the under part of the chim yeah, the chimney fireplace. And you can see that there was an actual clean out here for like ashes when it was burning wood but it looks like they have since put a gas insert in there. Foundation walls that are exposed all look quite good. I don't see any cracking or a lot of movement, which is just excellent. Um, 
old plumbing, cast iron plumbing right there. And then you do have a sump pump here in the basement as well. Okay. It doesn't smell damp. I don't see, I mean, excessive evidence of water. You can definitely see some staining and things on the floor where there was water at some point. That could have been clear back during the building process. It's hard to say, but I don't smell any dampness or any mold or anything like that as I'm down here. Okay, back upstairs. And um, I do wanna point out, you've got a wood look laminate flooring here in the kitchen and dining room, which looks really nice. And now we're gonna go upstairs for the last part of the property. So back at the front door for reference. And again, stairway to my left, living room in front of me, master to my right. So I'm gonna go up the stairs. And the one thing I'll, I mean, this house has quite a bit of storage, which is really nice. So stepping up here, there are switches for the attic fan right at the top of the stairs. And you can see you've got a little closet here for storage. You also have a pretty large attic conversion storage area here as well. So stepping in, you can see this is actually carpeting that is made to kind of look like wood. Little cubbies, just some general storage here. And then coming out of the storage area, turning to my left is another full bath, ceramic tile, Again, on the sink and floor here, tiled a little bit around this bathtub shower insert. And again, um, wallpaper here. And then here is the laundry chute that I pointed out earlier. Okay. And then the bedroom on this level, so I'm gonna turn to my left. And this is the bedroom on this level. So again, it's a good sized bedroom, it's quite large. Um, it is rectangular in shape. So, I mean, it's sitting right over that living room and has a similar dimension to the living room. And you've got two closets in here that have built-ins. So closet number one, and then moving on to the south side is closet number two. And then here is a view out the back of the house. Um, so it gives you a little bit better view of the roof too. I can see where there's a slight bit of damage. It's very hard to see because of the screen. There's a slight bit of damage to one of these pieces of roofing right here where there's like a hole in it that's probably gonna need to be addressed. But overall, it, it looks pretty good, pretty well maintained. Okay, so that is it. Let us know what you think.